How to create a button with a new morphism design in Flutter. We start with the blue container that we also make rounded. Next, we replace this blue background color of the container by the background color of the whole page. And lastly, we want to make this container again visible, therefore new morphism uses shadows. We create one darker shadow at the bottom right corner. Also add a blur effect to soften the shadow. And next to the dark shadow, we create a lighter highlight shadow at the top left corner. Again, we give the shadow a blur effect. And with this, we have the elevated version of the new morphic button. Next, we make the blur radius and offset more dynamic by placing them inside some fields. We also replace the outer drop shadows by inner shadows that are displayed within the container widget. With these inner shadows, we create the press state of our button. So we also change the blur effect and the offset of our button if the button is pressed. Lastly, we need to change this boolean field by wrapping a gesture detector around our container that toggles this is press boolean field. Also, if the button is pressed, then we have the inner shadow, otherwise the outer shadow. With this, if we click on this button, we go to the elevated or inset state of the button. Replace your container by an animated container. As a result, the change of our button is animated. Next, we create a dark mode flag with which we change the background color. And also, we change both shadow colors. With this, we have a dark mode new morphism button. For a button that has no selected state, we replace the gesture detector by a listener. With this, if I click short on this button, it is always going back to this elevated state. Optionally, if the button is pressed, you can completely hide the shadows. You could also use this website to generate a new morphism button, simply set from which side your light source is coming from, and then you can change the radius, the distance, and also the intensity of your shadows. And lastly, only copy the code and simply paste this code into your Flutter project.